Again at BMW E36 and E46 vlog um, 83 already. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to stick your uh, wheel logo. So your logo is inside your uh, wheel. How you call that uh, wheel logo? Wheel cap. So your logo is inside your wheel cap. Um, I don't have original BMW. Uh, wheels but I have original PBS wheels and uh, the bore is different than um, yeah the BMW wheels so I can't uh, put the rotating new logos in there so I'm going to put in or I already have like the third color I have I first had black then I had red then I have chrome uh, logos in there and I can tell you if you order uh, original BBS logos they are not cheap at all they are super expensive and the strange thing is is that um, they let loose so they uh, they, they mount it with uh, double layer tape and they're a little bit loose so if you don't want to lose them or somebody uh, to steal them you have to like proper uh, mount them or stick them that is what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you how to do that um, I already wanted to do that a long time ago but there has been a lot of delay in them in it because um, yeah I didn't feel like uh, getting off all the four wheels um, because you have to uh, tick um, uh, the wheel uh, logos from uh, the inside um, then you have to uh, put them back um, on the right Newton uh, 120 nm on the BBSs and then you have to stick them and have to wait for 24 or 48 hours not really like a big job but it's not something you do in 10 minutes so that's why there's a big delay in it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to the gas station put some gas in it get some energy drink and then we go to the uh, garage to get the wheels off and also the wheel caps <clears throat> then I'm going to or we are going to the, uh, the car wash um, I've got myself uh, some uh, new wheel cleaner I'm going to show to you guys later and also with a brush um, I didn't clean them for a while um, you better do that like every like one or two weeks then your um, brake dust can come off easier but I didn't so I have to get it off uh, this stuff doesn't have like the sour in it so like the professional um, wheel cleaner that I had you have to like pre-mix it with water or get it off really uh, quickly because else it's going to bite into uh, the paint so um, what is better with or without the sours in it um, I think it's better if you have the sours uh, uh, in it because it gets off uh, quicker but it is professional because if you like leave it there for five or ten minutes or longer then it's going to eat up uh, into your um, clear coat so your paint and uh, that's not something that you want that's why it's a professional product but anyway they have one now that's with uh, without the sours uh, in it so you can leave it on for five or ten minutes nothing going to happen but I don't know if the dirt and brake dust is going to come off uh, that easy um, they supplied it with a brush so uh, I ordered new oil I'm going to talk about it later and uh, yeah marketing victim I ordered it and I'm going to try it because the caps are off I'm going to clean them good so um, like I said I'll go get some energy drinks some gasoline and then I'm going to talk to you guys again when we're at the garage okay we're at the garage cheers mate let's uh, jack the car up and get the wheel caps off
reason why I want to do everything myself because when they exchanged the tires, um, they didn't put a Newton 120 on them and they over tighten it. Uh, they didn't put any grease between it, so they were stuck like hell. Um, also, they split my new uh, dust shield and they didn't put the cap on. So that's an important thing. Some people say you don't see them, but you can feel them now because it starts rusting over there. So I have to put the caps uh, in there. I'm going to do that later. Um, three of the uh, logos and the caps are off now. Original PBS, so I'm going to show you later. Um, we're going to work at the other side and then we're going to uh, the car wash and uh, clean the wheels. So we're going to the car wash now. Um, when your wheels are off, always check your brakes and also uh, the worn on your tires. Um, the tires look uh, really good. So that means that they aligned the right way and uh, you only have to align it when you put your car higher or lower, not when you put uh, different uh, tires on it. Uh, so that's good and we also have the right tire pressure and that was like a real challenge to get the right one. Um, you can see that in the previous vlog from uh, Trim the Tires. I used the BMW M3 CLS. Uh, tire pressure because that's the only BMW E46 who runs these tire sizes and uh, rim sizes and that's an 8.5 yay at the front and a 9.5 yay at the rear with two 35 uh, tires on the front and two uh, 65 50, uh, 56 um, tires uh, on the rear so that's uh, 2.8 tire pressure on the rear and 2.5 at the front so 2.8 at the rear and 2.5 at the front and you should only do that when you dr don't drive longer than five minutes because uh, then you need to put a higher pressure in it um, to get that tire pressure so always go to a nearby gas station and uh, fill it up the right way so i talk to you later when we are at um, the car wash um, i forgot to mention i um, like i told you uh, contacted different powder coating companies and the more professional ones like the more expensive ones uh, they said that they don't want to um, powder coat um, your uh, wheel hub and uh, the reason is because they don't uh, want to take the chance that your wheel is coming loose well it doesn't come loose but as you can see at the front I painted uh, the rotor so the discs and the paint is coming off and it is really expensive triple layer um, uh, heat resisted paint so that's the thing um, to remind for the E36 that we are not going to powder coat um, the inside of the rim and with the inside I mean um, the wheel where it comes uh, on your uh, arches um, another thing is uh, at the right rear my uh, sensor my brake indicator sensor my worn sensor is uh, hanging loose again um, I think it's supposed to have a clamp over there or it's because you have small pads and you have big pads that's for the pre facelift and the facelift model so uh, the brake itself so the claw is the same they said I have to check the numbers and the bracket is um, bigger so for the facelift it's bigger um, I don't want to swap the rear for a 330i brace because it is a 320i and it's getting too heavy and it's too much work. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to swap the bracket on the rear, I'm going to do that later, for a facelift one and then you can put on a bit bigger disc, I believe it's about uh, one centimeters and if you do that then the gaps fills up in sense of the dust plate you see like space between it now then you have really big disc at the front and the small ones at the rear and when you swap only your brackets and of course a bigger uh, disc and then you need the bigger pads as well but not the, uh, the brake claw um, then it fills up all the way um, yeah that it fills up all the way the dust plate so that looks uh, a bit nicer so really I'm going to talk to you guys now when we are at 
the wash, the wash boxes, and um, getting some more energy. So uh, talk to you there. So this stuff is better than I thought, uh, the rims are really clean, uh, make sure you don't break too hard or, and too much uh, before you're going to spray your rims because um, when they're still warm and you spray water on it they get bended. Um, also make sure uh, that afterwards you, um, you clean the water and then drive a little bit uh, because or else the uh, inside can get rusty. So um, that was it for today, uh, tomorrow I'm going to get some kit and then um, grind and glue uh, the logos on the caps. And um, then I'm going to come back to you guys later. logos off they're attached with double layer probably and 3m uh, tape and uh, these caps are original BBS's and uh, a set of four is about a hundred bucks so they're pretty expensive uh, the thing is that there's a RVS ring uh, under it uh, to clamp it when you push them in or else they break off and they switched my tires and they lost two of them so I have to go order uh, two more what I'm going to do is I'm going to place original original BMW logos on them yeah yeah so you can choose this one that is before 2003 and this is the one after 2003 so uh, the first one it's like a little bit bended and the second one is like really bended and I have them over here. This is the only one that will fit the original BBS caps because I already looked up for it. And like you can see they are almost straight but they fit perfectly on this BBS cap. Uh, there's a tape on it, but I'm going to get it off. It fits perfectly, there's no air in it. Um, what I'm going to do is, Papa. you have space between it. Can I have this one? LJ, can I use hey. this one? No? Okay. Um, do I have another one? No, I don't. don't. So, if this is the cap, there's a little bit uh, space or a gap between it all the way around. And what you can do is put the new BMW logo uh, in it and then put the kit in there and then you have a little bit grip on the side too but that it's not necessary if you only put it in here uh, it's enough Nein. it's very important to use the right kit um, i always used uh, sudo it's not an advertisement but i use it for the gym and also for the house and this is really good stuff to fix uh, fix all this is the turbo version so it's dried out uh, earlier um, I prefer the other version, you have it in um, transparent, uh, white, grey and in black. Um, if you use uh, transparent it's good, if you spill it uh, on the cap you can uh, not see it. Um, if you use the grey or um, the white one you can see where um, yeah, the kit is going, so that's a good thing. And if you want to fill up the gaps then um, you have to use the black one. So I have to fix all. Uh, it's uh, pretty uh, thin at the end so I can 
put it on uh, real clearly. Um, I haven't tried this one before, but I'm going to use this one because Fix All is a good product. So I'm going to uh, grind them up first with some red scotch and then going to put the kit on. It is very important, no matter what kit you choose, that it is uh, a glue. Also, it has to be weather resistant because it's on your wheel and it has to be flexible. And my thinking wise is if you put the cap on here and you leave the gap and uh, you take them out uh, with a tire exchange, then there's going to be tension on it and they're getting loose. But if you leave the outside like that, then they cannot get loose. So anyway, um, these caps can be thrown away. And I have to order two more original BBS caps. Um, you cannot buy imitation because they're different sizes. Only for the RVS rings. So this is going to be like 100 bucks uh, for the caps. Um, let's say 50 bucks, so a total of 150 um, for the original BMW logos. And I have to buy two more of those, so uh, it's going to be 200 euros. And the standing uh, still uh, caps, like on the Bentleys, original BMW, uh, they have them in two sizes, small and big but they cannot fit your BMW E46 with the BBS rims. If you have BBS rims, the original ones, then you can only fit these caps and you can customize them only with this original BMW logo and it fits right in and you have a little bit space left. So it's going to be really nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grind up this, maybe going to heat up the, the, the 3M tape uh, get it off, also grind it up, and then I'm going to fill it up with the kit and put the logos on and then I'm let it go to dry for a few days. And I also have to order the other caps for the RVS rings. So I cannot put the rear yet and also I need to put the caps uh, on uh, yeah, because they forgot them. So the caps uh, under the logos. So that's what I'm going to do and um, I'm going to show you how to do it and what is the result. Okay guys, first of all, whatever you do, don't use sticker removal. So there is some very good uh, uh, 3M tape uh, behind it and you can just warm it up or peel it off. And what I al uh, always do, if there are some leftovers, use the tape that you take, uh, took off and get it off uh, with that. But don't use sticker removal because the kit is going to lose its grip then. And uh, if you're going to decide to fill up the gap with some black kit, then use normal dishwasher. Just normal dishwasher with uh, a little bit warm water and you can strike it really flat and it's really going to look good. But anyway, always if you want to do something like this and use kit, like I said, it is not cheap, it's 200 bucks. It's like the same. Use baby wipes. I already have them, but you need to buy them anyway because there are no chemicals in it. And if you spill a kit over your logo, you can get it off with the baby wipes. So that is what you need to do. Okay, three more things. I try to get this uh, tape off, but it's such a good quality that it's, it's super hard. So I'm probably going to try to use some sticker removal and then take it off with um, water and use the minimal. Uh, the uh, second thing, don't forget, there is, as you can see, protection layer over it. So leave it on and when it's mounted, uh, get it off. Uh, but you have to watch out that it's not getting sticky because uh, of the kit. And then the third thing, very important, when you mount these logos, uh, on the caps, you have to push 
them on the caps for at least one minute. If you do that, it would like triple your um, stickiness uh, on the uh, uh, logos, on the wheel caps. Some people would say that's that's called the haters. Buy so much money and time and effort in these uh, wheel caps. Well, I think everybody agrees that the wheels makes the car, and these wheel caps are really like a detailed thing. And I have experience with it, and you saw it yourself. They come off. But that's the reason why I do this, and it's also very nice that it will perfectly fit the BBS uh, caps. So it's going to fit the normal CA, the C uh, H2, and a few other models. And it's like really custom, but with original BBS and original BMW. So that's why I'm doing it. And if you don't like it, I don't care. If you like it and you also want to do it, be my guest and I'm going to show you how it looks later. So before I'm going to use a sticker removal, I'm going to try it with a hair blower. Probably doesn't work, but we're going to try. It does help, but you see some leftovers over here. So I'm going to try with a minimal sticker removal. to do is I'm going to use the hair blower to get everything off and then the sticker removal for the leftovers. So the tape is off. As you can see there are a lot of leftovers. Hello guys, uh, today it's actually quite good weather and I'm going to mount the front BBS wheel caps with the BMW logos on it. Um, I'm only going to do the front because like I said before at the rear, um, at the end of the axles there's supposed to be caps and they're not on. And if you don't have your logos on, so your wheel caps, and you don't have the cap on the end of your uh, axle, it's um, going to be 
standing steel welder over there and it's going to be rusty and crusty over there so before i'm going to mount it because i'm going to take off the wheels because i want to make sure that these rvs rings uh, are not going to uh, fall out so it's quite easy to put them in Yeah. Let's see. You can just click them in carefully. So like this. But then, attention uh, is into the detail. Where to put the gap. And if I look at pictures on the internet from new wheel caps can clearly see that the gap is over there and that is okay I can see it so you have the four big clamps uh, at the sides and you have one small one and that is where the gap is supposed to be it's supposed to be right into the middle and it will going to look like that so these are the big clamps this is the small one and the gap from the rvs ring is supposed to be in between there so i'm going to the garage and then we're going to fit these wheel caps after a cleaning If you like the video please a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates for the E36 and the E46. Later guys!